Hello guys, good day. This is Anne of Reinforce Me Club, your fellow positive reinforcer. Today we are going to talk about single tasking to enhance our work quality. So we are going to boost your personal productivity today. Now, single tasking is the practice of focusing only on one task at a time, giving your full attention and effort until the task is completed. This is opposite to multitasking, wherein an individual attempts to handle multiple tasks simultaneously or rapidly switches between tasks, which could be overwhelming most of the time. Now, with single tasking, you have better focus because you only have to concentrate on one task and one task only, and that will lead you to increase efficiency in your work because there'll be no distractions. Unlike multitasking, you have to shift your attention to from one task to another, and that alone is already distracting. When you do only one task and one task alone, your intense focus is just there in, in just one thing only. And because you're only concentrating on one thing, you are more efficient on that compared to multitasking. And the catch is typically, typically the quality of your work when you do single tasking is higher, you know, good quality with no errors. When you do, but when you do multitasking, you are prone to mistakes because you'll be shifting your attention from one task to another. That is already distraction plus mental fatigue, higher mental, mental workload. And that will lead to some errors, you know, and your, the quality of your work will also be compromised in multitasking. In terms of stress level, multitasking can create constant urgency and stress, you know, mental urgency that you have to do this. You have to make decisions right now for, for another task while you are doing this task right now. With single tasking, this reduces the pressure leading to a calmer work environment because you only have to concentrate and solve one task only. And that will lead you, and that will give you an easier mental processing, not mental fatigue. So generally, single tasking has lower stress level compared to multitasking, which is higher due to juggling of multiple tasks. And, you know, when you do single tasking, you, you are going to make more thoughtful and well-considered decisions because you are 100% connected to your task. You are in a deep work mode, no distractions, and you, your, your full attention is only in one task. In other words, you'll be more satisfied when you finish that one task. Compared to multitasking, your decisions most of the time can be rushed or less thorough because it has to be now. Now, while you're facing you know, this task, you have to make decision for another task right now. So you've lost your focus. And at the end of the day, when you, when you finish your job, your day job, when you finish the project, in single tasking, there will be a greater sense of accomplishment and fulfillment when you finish only one task because you have deep engagement with, with that task, which can be more fulfilling and enjoyable. And like when you accomplish, when you achieved a multitasking job, at the end of the day, it makes you feel overwhelmed and less satisfied. You might even gonna hate what you do because you have no idea what you're really doing. So that's, that's the downside of multitasking. Now, basically, in implementing a single tasking to increase your productivity and make better decisions, the very basic thing that you can do is prioritize your task. You can make a to-do list or rank your task by importance and urgency. Focus only 
on completing a high priority task first, at least the top three, you know, that makes you, that makes your day complete, you know, even without those uh, four to 10 to-do list things, when you complete your top three or your top five, you're good to go. Your day is complete. So prioritize your top three to five list to do in the day. First, first things first. You have to be clear with your goals. Set clear goals. Define specific goals for each task to maintain direction and purpose. Like, for example, working out. So that is for your health, you know, to have a good health. And it's also a way for you to show love for yourself. And it makes you feel good every time you finish your workout session. Another example is reading, you know, that will fill your mind. It updates your knowledge. And that's also a task for you to do if you ever consider it as important. Another, another important task, uh, making, quality, making memories with your family, with your kids, with your spouse. So prioritize those moments. Make a schedule for those experiences that you want and complete them at least every day. Make time for it if it's important for you. Set clear goals. And since you have priorities and you have goals, manage your time. Allocate particular, particular blocks of time to each task. Like for example, you know, you want to read. You can't, you can't leave the day without reading. You might as well want to consider the Promodoro technique. You know, 25 minutes of focus work followed by a five minute break. You can read 25 minutes and have a break for five minutes. And if you want to continue reading and make another 25 minutes of intense focus on what you read to maintain focus and energy. You know. So you have more, uh, you can absorb more knowledge and understanding about what you read. Other than reading, you can also use Promodoro technique in doing your household chores. You know, you could do 25 minutes cleaning in your room, like no phones, no distractions, no TV, only music, you know, to make your life colorful while you are cleaning your room. So 25 minutes intense cleaning, focus and cleaning your room and five minutes break. You can get out, go out from your room and then have a coffee, chat with your mom. You can also use Promodoro technique in studying. So Intense focus on reading on a specific topic, 25 minutes, and have a five-minute break. That is mental break for you. You know, not the main mental breakdown, but for your mental break, you know, you can a sip a coffee, drink some water, chat with your mom, with your friend for five minutes, and go back again. Study the same topic or different topic. So that is time management. One strategy, the Promodoro technique. It's also important to minimize distractions while you're doing the task. You now create a distraction free work environment. Like for example, turn off your notifications in the computer or in your, in your phone, close unnecessary tabs while you're doing your work in your PC, inform others of your focus work periods to minimize interruption. So when you are in the office, close the door. And inform the people outside, you know, if you're a manager, that you are going to do a deep work without interruption for just half an hour. Please, guys, do not disturb me in the office. You can tell people that way. And that's also another way for you to create boundaries. Work means work. Play means play. You can also do that in 25 minutes using Promodora technique. And then five minutes, you know, out from the office chat for a while for five minutes and then do the work again. And of course, since you are doing a deep work without distraction, it's important to also make a way for you to reduce the pressure in your brain, reduce stress. You can do mindfulness, mindfulness, mindfulness technique. You know, you can do the mindfulness on your break time. You know, after you eat your lunch, you can go outside for a walk, reconnect with the nature. You know, have a, a walk and then uh, 
enjoy the environment outside the institution, outside your company. You be alone, be connected to the nature. That's mindfulness. And uh, another way for, for you to reduce your stress. And when you, when you do mindfulness, it's not just meditation. You can also do mindfulness by, by taking breaks or holidays. You know, after a long weeks of work, your holidays will serve as your mindfulness. Or you can do mindfulness on the weekends by uh, venturing a, a walk on a trail, reconnecting with the nature. And that will make you forget about work. You know, that's also a, a, a break for yourself. And be present in the moment, fully engaging on the task, which, is, which could be outside work. And most importantly, since uh, you're doing an intense focus on one task alone and you want to finish it set this, uh, successfully with high quality results, highest and best use of your time, since you want to do that, other than mindfulness during breaks, never forget to take breaks, after all, on every task that you do. Take regular breaks to rest and recharge. Use break time to clear your mind and prepare for the next task. Breaks are important for your brain, mind, and body to recharge, to be 100% again for the next task task all right i hope you learned something from the topic today you know all in all single tasking can significantly enhance productivity and decision making by allowing for allowing you for having an opportunity for a deeper focus higher quality work and reduce stress while working on your task on the other hand Multitasking might seem like a way to get more done. It often leads to decreased efficiency and more significant cognitive strain. By embracing single tasking, individuals, you and me, can achieve better results in their work and enjoy a more satisfying and less stressful work experience. Now, if you ever love this episode today, you can follow me in YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Podcasts. This is Reinforce Me Club, and by the way, your fellow positive reinforcer, I do appreciate your time and have a lovely day ahead. Have a, product, a productive Saturday, and don't forget to take breaks. Thank you very much once again.